What's up, guys? First of all, I just wanted to thank you guys for uh, sticking around while we had our laps. You know, we had a little bit of an emergency this um, this month, of this last month, and, and uh, Marius had to make an unexpected trip to Norway, so we were, were able to get a Patreon video out. I was very sad about it, but I'm really glad that you guys stuck around for this video. I promise that I will get some extra stuff done for you next month to make up for our laps in... Um, in uh, July. And then also, Marius, aren't we going to be doing a live stream pretty soon? Yes. Yes, we're doing a live stream pretty soon. And I think that this live stream is going to hit the $15 tier. So you $15 tier people will have a live stream. Uh, and then I'm going to do another little separate tier for five, another little separate live stream for people who are five bucks and over. We're doing a little bit of traveling. We're going to be shooting some new content. I'm going to be releasing it to you guys first. Uh, so you guys get to see a little bit of the new stuff that we're doing. We got a rough cut of something I'm going to unveil to you guys. If you guys want to comment on it, that'd be great. Uh, and I just want to thank you guys for, uh, for sticking around. I know, like, thanks for having faith in us. It's re you guys are really important to us. You guys help us make this channel possible. Uh, every little thing that we get. So, um, so yeah, anyway, we're going to be doing a pretty, pretty complicated cocktail. I wanted to, uh, do an aviary cocktail because I was thinking a lot about reconstruction of, um, simple cocktails that are reconstructed in, and just to show you how far you can push the envelope and the people that are doing that the best is the aviary in chicago if you don't know much about the aviary it was start it was uh opened with some other partners uh by the chef grant achatz and if you don't know who grant achatz is i think i'm pronouncing his name right achatz or achatz just watch um uh do yourself a favor really and watch um chef's table season one uh, he is, the stuff that he does is really incredible and they're now pushing that into the bar world. This cocktail is called the Zombie Panda. It is a reconstruction of a Pisco Sour and it was created by Micah Melton, which is the head bartender over there. Uh, or was the head bartender over there when we, when we, when we, when this cocktail was created. All right, cool. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff here. So I'm going to have to kind of, um, get rid of stuff and put it in the sink and get, and just throw things off, you know, so that we can not be so cluttered. Uh, I wanted to pre-measure out everything just so that you guys didn't have to watch me uh, uh, measure things. But I will say that you're going to need, um, you're going to need a uh, food syringe, like, you know, for injecting turkeys and stuff. You're going to need that. Um, you can get them pretty cheap on Amazon. The link is below. Uh, and then you're also going to need a drug scale, uh, which uh, the link is below for as well. I mean, as you guys know, we, we link all our things. Every, anyway, so I, I pre-portioned everything out. And I also want to say this is going to be a little bit of a different kind of video because we're going to have to cut around a little bit more than we usually do for this just because there's so many different steps to it. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is make these raspberry marbles, all right? So we're going to take a bowl and we're going to take... Uh, two grams of citric acid and put it into that bowl. All right. I'm just going to like, I'm going to get rid of these things as we go. And then we're going to do a uh, hundred, oh, sorry, hundred. And we're going to do 51 grams of simple syrup also into the bowl. We're going to do, what was it? What was it? 57? Uh, no, 64. 74. Sorry. It was 129. Yeah, 74. No, 64. No, 64. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm like forgetting that. 64 grams of uh, St. George raspberry liqueur. Now, a lot of you guys are going to ask me if you can switch it out for frambois uh, and other types of raspberry liqueur. And I'm just going to say yes. It, you're going to get a little bit different of a product at the end of it, but I'm just going to say uh, yes. I will tell you, though, that this particular... Uh, vi this particular... Um, Cocktail was created with St. George. So I want to just say that this is 20% alcohol by volume. want to make sure that you don't do anything more alcoholic. The more alcoholic it is when we put this in the freezer to freeze it, which is what we're going to be doing, the harder it is, to, to, it is going to be to freeze because things with alcohol freeze, but they don't freeze completely. They can become like more of like a little bit of a slushy kind of consistency. Uh, so anyway, uh, we said 64 grams of um, the raspberry uh, St. George's liqueur. We'll set that off the camera as well. And then uh, 257 grams of water. Now, I'm gonna get a little messy. I, I didn't have a lot of pouring, uh, I didn't have a lot of pouring thing, um, vessels, so I was like kind of making do. So then we're gonna just whisk it. You wanna just whisk this until the uh, citric acid is fully combined into the liquid. 
give it a nice little whisk. I think that about does it. And then we're going to try and not spill everything everywhere and just like put it, ah, and you did spill a little bit. That's okay, that's all right. I will get a rag and clean it up. All right, cool. Sorry guys. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this into the refrigerator and we're going to uh, chill it for at least two hours. All right, so now we have our chilled mixture. It's been sitting in the fridge. And we're going to take a 5 8 spherical mold. Link is below. Uh, and we're going to take our syringe and we're going to pipe the mixture. Here, Marius, I wanna like situate this so that you can get like a nice, oh, we're gonna pipe the mixture in. The thing is, is that you wanna pipe it in so that each ball sort of bubbles over the top or you're gonna have sort of a flat surface on your, um, on your sphere and it's not gonna to be totally spherical. So you need it to sort of bubble above the rim a little bit. And you'll be able to tell when it bubbles. It's pretty easy to tell. Where? Oh, this one needs a little bubbler, bubble action. There, Marius off camera, keeping me honest. This is like watching paint dry. You see, you notice how I'm ignoring you? All right, four more, Marius. Now we'll stop being such a burden to you. Get rid of that, cap this off, put it back in the fridge for future use. And there we have, well, there it is, our uh, mold, our sphere mold. And this is ready to go into the freezer. So then we're gonna freeze this overnight. Uh, and when we do, and then after that, we will construct the cocktail. And there it is. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the freezer. So now we have our raspberry marble marbles that we let sit for 24 hours and now it's time to make the cocktail. So the first thing we're gonna do is grab our tin and do one ounce of lychee syrup. Um, the way that I did this lychee syrup, um, because uh, you need to make it out of lychee puree and lychee puree can be a little bit expensive. So what I did was I went to my local Asian grocery store, I got lychees in a can, I threw those all into a Vitamix, I blended them up and then I uh, strained them through a nut milk bag to get rid of all the solids. 
Uh, and then I took that lychee sort of puree that I made and I took 350 grams of that and added it to 250 grams of sugar. And that's gonna give you your lychee uh, syrup mix, which is what we're gonna do. And so we did one ounce and then we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice and two ounces of pisco. Then we're just gonna add some ice to our tin and give it a good hard shake. And that's where our issy comes in. So you just shake it as much as you would shake a normal cocktail. Let's release our tins. We'll take our issy, get the cap off. And then we are going to double strain this into the issy. And then we're gonna seal up our issy. Whoa, and drop stuff. And we're gonna use a soda charger to charge it up. And then we're just gonna give it a shake. For like, I don't know, 30 seconds. And we're gonna let it sit. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our marbles. Now here's the deal, these uh, defrost quickly, they do not freeze solid because there is alcohol in them. And they're kind of hard to get out intact, but try hard, sometimes it's hard, to get them out intact. See, this one broke a little bit. This is what's going to be the ice of your cocktail, even though we have the other one chilled and under pressure at the moment. And so we're just gonna grab these out and place them into your glass. Now, truth be told, just the way that we've been shooting this, these have been out of the fridge for a little bit longer than when you guys make this. You wanna make sure that you make this, maybe even prep it, and then take these out of the freezer so that they're as cold as possible, and then you'll get a lot less breakage. You wanna do six to eight ounces of marbles. But I am just gonna eye it. And maybe not try so hard to take them out, try to be careful. What do you mean, not try so hard? You I'm trying, I am trying to be careful. You said try hard. Oh, well, I just meant put effort into not breaking the, the things. But, but thank you, Marius, thank you. That's so very Norwegian of you. So each one, just take them out. Some of them are breaking up a little bit, but when you guys do it, I have faith that you're gonna do a better job than I am. Are you doing all of them? Yeah, I'm doing all of them. Well, maybe not. Maybe not all of them. I'm almost done anyway. If you're doing many of these for like a party or something, maybe pre-prep them in the glass, put the glass in the freezer or something? I don't know. I'm going to eat this one. I don't know if, um, yeah, maybe pre-prep the glass, put the glass in the freezer. It'd be nice to have a, a, um, a chilled glass for this. I will say, though, that I, I don't think that anyone's going to really want to make these for a lot of people. But, uh, you know, since we're thinking about reconstructing cocktails, I just wanted to show everybody just like a really nice way, just like a really, just like what you can do, how far you can push cocktails to reconstruct them. And then we've got this. We're gonna add our cocktail gently into the glass.
and make a nice foam on top. There it is. And there you have it, my friends, the zombie panda from uh, the aviary in uh, Chicago. All right, guys, see you guys next time. Uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit more reconstructions in the next videos. Uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, again, sorry for the wait, and I'm glad that, the, that you guys who stuck around really stuck around. We really appreciate it. I will see you guys on the next Home Bar Advanced. Why, what, what, Marius? Marius is raising his hand behind the camera. What? Yes, Marius? What does it taste like? Oh, I, I don't know if I, did I do that in these? I guess, uh, I, guess I should. Yeah. Mm, well, the Pisco gives it nice, a nice floral. The Pisco and the, um, and the, the syrup together give it like a nice floral kick. It is really actually cold. These marbles really do a very good job of uh, cooling it, but they also melt so quickly that I don't know if we're gonna get a, like a nice thumbnail on this one. Um, I have seen thumbnails, I have seen pictures of this cocktail where the thumbnail is incredible, where you like, all of the marbles are done so well. Um, but I don't know. Uh, so I don't know if we're gonna have the greatest thumbnail. Anyway, back to the taste of the cocktail. The Pisco itself is really floral. You've got the lychee, you've got that nice refreshing lychee. You've got just enough tartness from the uh, lemon juice, but then you also have tartness from the citric acid that's inside the raspberry marbles, and you get this nice raspberry flavor that is perfectly balanced flavor profile-wise. Mm. it's a great drink. There it is, my friends, the zombie panda. Go and make it, and do a better job than I did. <laughs>